Providence City Council member on the big screen for the right reasons. She's represented Ward 9 in Providence for several years, but before she was making laws, she was making beds, a lot of beds. Iowa to Sue supporter Walt Buteau has this week's street story. Carmen Castillo came to the U.S. in 1994, never dreaming she'd be casting votes here in City Hall a couple of blocks from her day job. Carmen Castillo sometimes makes 20 beds a shift. Vacuums, dusts the furniture, sanitizes rooms in Providence's skyscraping Omni Hotel. After work, her housekeeping uniform is replaced by business attire. Press them. Castillo was elected to the Providence City Council in 2011 and re-elected twice since then. When you want to represent... The Democrat tells us the calls and emails she gets every day often come from outside her Ward 9. I like to fight for my whole city. I, I like to fight for my daughters. I like to fight for my job. I like to fight for the justice. Her girls were all she had when she immigrated from the Dominican Republic. The move, though, began with tragedy involving her son, who had medical issues as an infant. Two days before I, I had my ticket, he passed away. Her first taste of politics came years before she was elected to the council. She worked toward unionizing her co-workers and fought for concessions, including English lessons. We came to this country to get better opportunities for our life. And I believe, you know, the best way we can get it is education and try to learn the language in this country. Castillo's rise is now the subject of the documentary Councilwoman. But in her opinion, the film is not really just about her. Your story, you think, should give people hope. What's Why? The, what's the hope? Carmen came to this country, three little girls, do the hard job. But she tried to get much better and much better and much better, not only for me, for my family, my co-workers, my community. I want to show them, like, it, you know, Carmen, do it, you can do it. The documentary premiered in Providence with a broadcast premiere scheduled for later this year. More details are on WPRI.com. In Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.